wrong information, new alternative websites are popping up that promise to carry those same messages far and wide. Our Target 3 investigation revealed one of the most popular new platforms for misinformation has the financial backing of Illinois' biggest political mega donor. Mark Maxwell reports from Springfield. Karen Fresco works with the League of Women Voters of Champaign County. Misinformation is a, is a really important issue. After a mob of Trump supporters stormed the Capitol one year ago, she formed a task force to push back against claims the election was stolen. What we're concerned with in the League is confusion and misinformation about elections and voting. On January 6th, 2021, seeking out alternative digital platforms like Rumble. The new alternative website, Rumble, broadcast interviews with far-right members of Congress who voted to overturn the election results. We are here to expose the truth. And those who suggested storming the Capitol was really an inside job orchestrated by the FBI. The federal government may have been involved. We know this. January 6th last year wasn't an insurrection, but it very, very well may have been a Fed surrection. This is exactly the kinds of stuff that we are concerned about. A quick review of the homepage on rumble.com or a search of basic terms like elections, elections 2020, COVID-19 or vaccines returns pages full of fear. We asked Fresco to review a montage of video be, uh, clips that aired on Rumble this philosophy. year on I January 6th. Hard. Would you be surprised to learn that Illinois' single biggest political mega donor is also the fifth biggest financier and financial backer of this new alternative website, Rumble.com? I don't know whether I'm surprised or not. That's a lot of money to go into uh, supporting this kind of site. Billionaire hedge fund manager and Republican mega donor Ken Griffin plans to spend hundreds of millions of dollars of his own wealth in this year's elections in Illinois. His company, Citadel, pooled funds together in an investment vehicle that merged with Rumble, providing financial backing to the site that research shows spreads unchecked misinformation far and wide. Three months ago, Griffin himself warned about the dangers of misinformation. We need to get past the education and conspiracy theories that are really undermining the acceptance of this vaccine amongst our broader population. Whether the investment in Rumble was a political ploy or purely a profit play, it's paying off. Rumble's stock value up 10% last month and video viewer engagement spiked 44 times higher than last year. It's on the consumer for sure. University of Illinois assistant professor Emily Van Doon is an expert in political rhetoric and monitors its spread on digital media. She says consumer demand created a market for websites like Rumble. I think the scarier part is that people are able to get away with things being like obviously made up, but people believe it because they're looking to believe it, right? They're seeking out information that's going to match what they think. And so they're willing to accept this possibly totally garbage information as truth because they're motivated to see it. Van Doon says social media websites, much like politicians, desperately want your attention. And how you decide to spend your time sends key signals back to them and shapes how they'll try to earn it. When you're looking at this information, you're rewarding them with your focus, with your attention. Um, and I think People can be savvy or better you know, users by saying, I'm not going to give this platform my attention. So what should you do if you see something online you think might be wrong? Do not share. Do not click. Do not share. Fresco says a savvy viewer makes a savvy voter. And savvy voters can outsmart deceptive ploys to distract their focus. Regardless of the big bucks that go into supporting, pushing out the disinformation and misinformation, uh, ordinary citizens have a way to respond to it. You shouldn't throw your hands up in despair and figure, you know, you're being steamrolled by all of this wealth. You can, you can really have an impact. She gave journalists a piece of advice, too to publish good, credible information before fear can take hold. But it's in that race to publish that reporters can sometimes trip up too. That certainly rings true in the old adage, the lie can get around the world seven times before the truth can get its shoes on. Well, in a world where big money backs that big lie, experts say it's up to consumers not to buy in. Reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell.
A spokesperson for Griffin's hedge fund says, quote, that investment is worth $7 million and we are a $43 billion hedge fund. So it amounts to less than 0.02% of our investments. He also says Griffin, quote, doesn't have a view on every single one of the thousands of potential